And you could. Jazz, is that all right? I can see it. So can you, you see, see me, Jazz, yeah? <laughs> How are you? Jazz, I'm good. I'm fantastic, thank you. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate yeah, it. The pleasure's all mine, my friend. Brilliant. Um, anyway, first thing I'd like to say, Jazz, congratulations on the doctorate. It must be a <laughs> massive, massive, superb feeling to get honoured in that way in your own your hometown. Yeah, <clears throat> of course it was. Um, of course it was. Uh, but you know, I don't. I, it, it's hard for me to respect any kind of hierarchy or authority. It's just not in my nature. No, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> But I bet, I bet it felt good though, didn't it? It did. It, 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 it did. It did feel good. I must say, it was, it was unexpected, and, um, and amazing. I mean, it's the things I didn't say about my hometown. Possibly, uh, you Maybe. have to read in between the lines. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, fantastic that. I mean, you know, what I mean, a great honour to be to, to have that. So anyway, yeah, yes. it, it, fantastic. You know, because like uh, there are people still alive today that uh, remember what I was like um, when I was young, and, and like I got a really bad reputation. <laughs> 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 what I like, there's nothing better than proving people wrong, is there? That's, yeah. that's what I like. You know, I like to prove people wrong, and I think you proved a lot of people wrong, Giles, you know, so oh. a lot of satisfaction there. So the last time we spoke was at the launch of your, um, our, you know, Symphonic Killing Joke in London there at that reception, 2019 in December. The world's changed a lot, hasn't it, since then? Yes, it has, isn't it? <sighs> Massively. And, uh, we, we knew something was coming. If you remember, I remember you talking to us in Amsterdam before the gig at the at the Melkweg. We were sat outside that um, that bar. There was me, you, Shirley, you know, my wife, That's uh, right. Larry, and a couple of other gatherers. And you told us that something bad was going to happen in 2020. You know, you hoped that we'd all be sat there again. You know, the year afterwards. Um, but you thought mm. you, you had bad feelings about it. I mean, and you were proved proved right, Giles. You know, it's it's been. Well, it, the world has changed, hasn't it, completely? I mean, it's been a bad time for everybody, you know? We've all been through it. We've all really been through it. it, it it's, you know, <clears throat> I, I haven't been back to uh, Prague for, like, three years or so, really. I, I mean, very, very briefly. And um, people and places have changed profoundly, Uh I've got one friend of mine, he, he, he's like a psychiatrist and he, he's doing so well making vast amounts of money out of broken people. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, uh, you know, like um, before the pandemic, I think it was one in five people suffered from um, uh, mental illness. Now, uh, I'm sure it must be um, 50% of the population that you've got like in Western countries, generally, you've got eighty-eight percent of the population is 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 two paychecks away from homelessness. Yeah, absolutely. And every boy's struggling, and I, and I feel me, I feel the the pain of people's struggle. I'm and you know, I I said before uh, where, where I was living in in in. Mexico, there was 12.5 million homeless people around me. Now, when we move to a cashless society like the people in Davos say that they've got plan for us, yeah. Um, I fear for those 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 people. What the hell? How are they going to feed themselves? They're going to be cut out of society, aren't they? They're going to be cut out. What are they going to get their credit cards out to feed themselves? We could have mass starvation. I mean, I'm. And I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't want to be right anymore. It's all, you know, everything that's happening, nothing surprises me. I expected all of it. Yeah. The, the thing is, I can see that there's going to be more and worse. But 
Well, they've just announced Germany today, I think, that they're going to make vaccination mandatory, you know, in the new year. Well, if you have a look at the lyrics of War on Terror... Yeah. Uh, uh, War on Freedom, I should be, uh, be uh, on last it was, record. It was all like, in there. It, mandatory vaccinations, yeah. you yeah. know. And people, as you said, that, that I was a conspiracy theorist for, say, uh, for, for saying that then. But, you know, that there was no mysticism to it. I mean... Um, a, f- a few years ago in Australia, they were already making it mandatory for solo mothers um, if they wanted their dole or benefit. Uh, they had to have vac- vaccines and vaccinations, and they, they did a trial run out of all this. But um, in Australia, so um, it, 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 none of it comes as a surprise. Uh, no. Really. Was it? Yeah. Who, who was I, it I mean, said? when you think about, um, you know, the World Economic Forum, yeah, and people that have got mysteriously come out with these books overnight called the Great Reset, yeah, that's uh, right, etc., etc. Et uh, you know, you can see that the whole thing uh, since 2010. You can look at the Rockefeller, um, what's it called, Lockstep. Yeah, uh, that's the right. Fellow directive. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows that. Uh, you can see it's, uh, that's what they've got planned to make it easier to, um, to turn us into a hive mind, a hive a, a colony. It's, of, um, of it is scary because everything that we feared and everything that we sort of knew was a possibility has all come true, and here we are. We're, we're sat in the middle of it. You know, it, it is truly scary. You know, and they're talking about now, you know, a third, the, the third booster shot you must take, and then the fourth one, the fifth one, the government has ordered more and more of this stuff from Pfizer, you know, and well, it's the, scary. The, the thing is, you have to step back and, and, and look at this all. Um, you know, at some point, We've looked, the elites in our world have looked at the data of what's coming and have decided that it's in our best interest to mix our DNA with that of insects. Yeah. Uh, and to kickstart the transhuman agenda. And that started, I think, myself, I think that started probably 25 years ago. Uh, uh, and the plans for it before before that, um, uh, and that, uh, and and that that means that you and I are the last of our species. Yeah. We are the last of sapien, and we're morphing into Homo universalis, um, if you like, the the transhuman uh, 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 alternative, which I, my personal opinion, I think. Uh, I think that we've been mutating for some time now, and it's part of the plan. Yeah, you know, uh, 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 but we won't be the same again. And my fears are that, that word humanity. Yeah, it's going. It's, into, you know, it, the, the, uh, slipping away. It, it, it defines us, and it, it means our, our sense of empathy, our sense of compassion define us our humanity and the thing is with the transhuman age the one thing uh, that we won't be able to um, transmit is emotions no so you're gonna have like people who live to like 400 and 500 or, or on life extension programs who are like begging for death who feel nothing about anything uh, I, I mean it, you know it looks like a nightmare uh, to, uh, to me the way the way things are unfolding. Uh, I, I call these people neo Prometheans. You know the, the 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 biotech companies that dream yeah. of silent forests um, with no sort of pollinators like bees, and uh, uh, I call them neo Prometheans because. Because they consider themselves gods, they have the audacity um, uh, 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 to uh, 
imagine that they can reshape our future world to, um, uh, you know, whatever, 3D technology and pumping whatever shit there is into the machines yeah. and and creating a world in in their image. And, uh, and I feel for this. But I think... I, f I think that Mother Nature will intervene at some point. See, what we're trying to do is we, we, we're trying to, we're kind of zero on, on the scale of um, s civilization. We're zero. And in, in, in moving to like stage one, where we can draw all the energy we need from the earth itself without yeah. damage to the earth um i i think uh civilizations often destroy themselves in the process of trying to get to this point uh, and and, I, and we're there you know we're, we're in danger of something uh, called complex systems failure which means that unlike the cold war we have now multiple flashpoints across yeah. the earth you know you you've got like the israel iran axis i mean i don't need to remind you no. uh, india pakistan Ukraine. india china yeah. axis uh, you've got like uh china of course is in sri lanka so they so india feels uh, like hemmed in by pakistan and uh, uh sri lanka so it, none of it's good you've got the the you, you, the pacific with the the a, a, a looming resource war um, uh, with with China, of course. Uh, you have Taiwan as a flashpoint. Um, I mean, there's just so many. Uh, I, I don't know what what. Ha I mean, the, the the law of averages is for something to happen is increasing all the time. Yeah. Add artificial intelligence to that, and. Um, uh, you, you're starting to understand what complex systems failure is, uh, and uh, and how um, our demise uh, uh, could happen at any time. Not that I, these days, I find myself um, worrying about that. No. Yeah, and I remember, I remember because, as you know, we, we all went to incredible terrors uh, in the 70s and 80s we didn't think I mean most people up until uh, 1984 1985 most people 25 or younger didn't think they'd last more than a few years before there would be nuclear war no uh, we, so we it thought 80s, it was imminent 90. didn't we at the time it was imminent it was you know we all thought it was going to be imminent you know it was like party while you can and enjoy your life you know and that's right that's right uh, it, it was uh, and the thing is in a funny way we should be in the same place now but we're not we're all just sort of separate divided unfeeling and broken yeah it, it seems to me um uh and i feel that because you know as you know like I, I really shouldn't be alive. I, I, I yeah. I well, went to what happened in Mexico, Jazz? I mean, so, you, you, so had, you had the accident, to, didn't you, off the boat? A long story short, like a, I, I feel so much a sense of mission with everything I'm doing, and that it's meant to be. You know that I'm meant to be here now and during this time in history and. Um, that I have something to contribute in with and and with and outside of killing dope, you know, in in, in multiple ways. Uh, I want to fully engage. You know, I could just um, retreat at this moment in in, in my life um, uh, to like uh, natural beauty. Yeah. <laughs> And 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 that kind of life, but I I, w I feel like I want to be on the front line more than ever, frankly. And I'm I'm thr I'm thrilling to bits about um, the British tour. 
Well, I mean, and, we're all and, we're, we're all buzzing about it. You know, we, it's just such strange times, isn't it? I mean, the problem is restrictions come and the restrictions go. Bro, and it's terrible. You just I don't mean, know. You can't plan ahead. I've, you know. I've. You know, I'm at this unique point in history where I can honestly say. I've said everything. What more do I need to add to what? <laughs> well, I've already said so. Um, what I was going to say to you is remind you, remind everybody what my father used to say to me when I used to get into a state of terror uh, um, about uh, nuclear annihilation, which has been a significant threat since um, 1961. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all of my life, pretty much. Uh, 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 my father used to is, remind me that, um, you know, as humans, there's always an external threat in some form or, or another. Yeah. Always. Uh, and, and that we have to live with the possibility of this... Uh, Annihilation at any time, and indeed, if it, you know, I always think of um, the excavated city of Mahando Dado, which um, Sir Mortimer Wheeler excavated, uh, which is now in Pakistan. And anyway, the thing, unusual thing about it is they found that all the citizens who, who died there, they'd all linked hands in a human chain. Um, and obviously, whatever, well, I believe nuclear wars happened in the past on yeah. this planet. We know that this has happened. Uh, uh, and, but they formed this human chain, uh, uh, which um, leaves this kind of imprint in, 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 in me, my conscious mind and unconscious. Is the, um, because I, I say unconscious as well because it, uh, my feelings are that each one of us has the, the genetic memory of mankind within us but Plato said that all knowledge is remembering Yeah, uh, and so we can actually remember that incident we have the capacity to remember that incident where someone gave the command to form a human chain before death came right you know, uh, 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 and we're just learning what this the creation machine existence, um, which people like Elon Musk like to reduce, they call it entropic re reduction. The idea yeah. that this is a simulation, everything is a simulation, but it. it I, 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 I think. Uh, uh, it's such a grand simulation that I'm left in a state of um, divine amazement. If it is a simulation, uh, as it, and I'm still yeah, it's I feel, feel a sense of uh, 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 spiritual amazement uh, at the length and breadth of it. It, you know, put simply, I, 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 I feel that we are nature evolved to the extent that nature can experience itself. And I've always felt the emphasis is on the human experience uh, and Gnosticism, of course, yeah. from itself, which is um, uh, experience truth, your personal experience truth. That's something which is so, so important. Because, you see, here in Kilinjo, which is Kilinjo, we, we've created a community, okay, that the community that we, we are in the band and we are a community is reflected in the community that's outside of the band with the gathering and the global home, and of course we know this, uh, and it, it it's amazing, and we need it more than ever now. I think, and like I, I really feel like killing jokes. Destiny and my destiny, this sense of 
that this is the most we can absolutely most important time now. We knew this was going to happen. I mean, the gathering during last year during the lockdown. I mean, people that we, you know, people were ringing me. I was ringing other people. You know, there was a lot of support going oh, on, and and well, it worked so you know so well. I mean, it it was it was an awful time, you know, and I think we're still in it. I mean, but but I think the surprise and the shock of everything was mm -hmm. the thing, and and. You know, people I know, I mean, like Larry, you know, the people, they were massive strength, you know, to, to, to like myself and other people, you know, it, we, because it was, it was a shock. It was, it was, it was just amazing, you know, that we'd, we'd never experienced anything like that at all. And, and you know, the, the, the fact that we were sort of like had a bond, you know, the bond was killing joke and, and it kept us going. You, you know, your music kept us going every day. You know, we were listening to it and, and, it just kept us going. So I've got a lot to thank you for, Jazz, for last year, you know, well, for your music. It's our music, in, yeah. in, and you mustn't forget that I'm a gatherer too. Yeah. And, and for me, a gatherer is the, gathers knowledge. And the greatest knowledge that I've learned in Killing Joke is that there's strength in unity. Yeah, absolutely. And, and um, the, the, you know, we always have to rise above our differences in order to um, stay together and all the time with such big personalities in the band it's, it's um, a spiritual lesson all the time and I, I look I have to say that look, uh, I, I love um, I love the new recordings I was going to ask you, you about know, that I was going I've to got, ask you about that Jazz so I'm going to you know I shouldn't really talk about it but I will I will, um, uh, it, you know, I'm I'm so glad that I, I've got um, citizenship or I should say residency in in, in Prague, and so is Geordie. Uh, you know, uh, youth came in, and yeah, youth was over, wasn't he, with you as yeah, well? Yeah, he came yeah. and then we locked in with Paul. And uh, anyway, the thing is, we're putting that EP out, like you yeah. all know. Uh, And I love every track, uh, uh, but sometimes, you know, like, you run into a track <sighs> and you just go, wow. I mean, it, is, it, ha <laughs> it happened when we wrote Love Like Blood, which took about three minutes, and yeah. we've, we've run into, especially one song, especially. <laughs> you know, and, uh, uh, we're mixing two of the songs uh, before Christmas and one just after the Christmas and as soon as the second the third one is done uh, I'm going to have a kind of private dinner party in a, in a grandiose place and, and put it on loop <laughs> 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 And so I would I, I would like to invite um, one or two people to be there at that moment when that happens. It sounds amazing. I, was, I mean, yeah, how, how was it seeing yeah. Jordi and, and and youth after all? You know, two years and all this that's happened. It must have been absolutely amazing to see them again. Amazing, uh, uh, amazing, and I must say this this sense of dark vindication about everything I mean yeah you know what can I say is is um, uh, and with Jordy it was the first thing I said to him is that we haven't wasted our lives and we form, we formed ourselves a a community that has great meaning at this time yeah, and uh, and he agreed with me, and, and and I know that we all feel the sense of purpose and destiny in in the band. I can tell. I know. I can know. I can. All the boys feel this, and uh, the the meaning of the shared experience of music is with Killing Joke on the next British tour. It's 
it's going to be amazing. Uh, I, isn't it? It's going it to be amazing. It has so much meaning for me. Yeah. I love it, but it has so much meaning for me. You I mean, know what I mean? It's just going to be a huge celebration after everything that's happened. It's going to be a huge celebration. I know, you know, myself and Shirley. I mean, we can't wait. You know, we. It's like seeing all the people we know. You know, we saw a few people last week because. Um, we have, you know, um, Mick Head, don't you, Mick? They have oh, the, yeah. They have the tribute band. I know band. everything. Of course I know about the, the, the gig. It was really great. Yeah. And all the gatherers well, were Mick, well done. Mick, well Mick done, Raven, you know Mick Raven, don't you, Jazz? You yeah, know Mick, don't you? Does. Well, Mick got diagnosed with cancer, you know, last year. So, yeah, so he, he, sing, he sang psych. He, he did, yeah. Band. He got up he and got sang, it. yeah. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. I mean, he's beating it. He's, he's, he's beating it. He's kicking... Cancer's out. Oh, my mum's beat it three times now, yeah. uh, and, and she's turned 90. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I think this is something that uh, we need to talk about now, because uh, we need to take the next step with the gathering, really, is that um, what I learned when I was at death's door uh, in a couple of times, one at one time in particular in, in Mexico hospital, um, was that everybody's, when I told the world what, what happened, and uh, I felt everybody's good wishes, like, like a directed consciousness or, or prayer, if you like. Yeah. But anyway, and I, and I feel it's brought, those, that good intention, that goodness has brought me back to life. And it's so important. So what we must do, I was thinking, is there's so many people in the gap who are just going through suffering. And what we should do is, uh, uh, if anybody knows anybody who's going through terrible times like that, we should um, consciously, in the gathering, uh, bring their suffering to um, to light and and so and use this directed consciousness yeah. and cover them in white light and and, and, um, uh, and it works. We've done it in the gathering before. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, we've we've actually healed people. And the other thing that I'd like to do, especially when I go on to it, is because you know, uh, I haven't had a drink for quite some time. No, and no. I, I I sure didn't go to AA. I'm not knocking Alcoholics Anonymous. But the system I use, I've used um, successfully for other people who, who really want to finish drinking. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking about anyone in my band. Really. <laughs> 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 uh, but if, the, if there is uh, people who are really serious about it, like it's, it's ruining their lives, etc. Like, um, but I, 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 I use an oath system. With the, with the time of the full moon, and it's scary. Yeah. And it means that you, you take an oath and you can't do it again, otherwise you invoke death on yourself. So it's not wise to do it. No. <laughs> but, and you have to be prepared to take that, make that commitment. But anyway, with, uh, whether it's uh, healing people for, uh, from alcoholism or, 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 or whether... It's just people who are suffering in general or they can't pay the rent or whatever. The gathering is a community and, and, and we should know about people's pain. We, and like, um, I think I think when we bring it to light collectively, we can do something about it, even if it's just like um, uh, 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 how would I say, the directed consciousness, yes. Yeah. Because people, uh, I don't like to bring too much of the religious connotation of sort of the word prayer, but um, anyway, it works, and, and uh, we should be mindful of this. Uh, uh, and um, you know, it, the community of the global home and the, the gathering is it uh, is probably our finest achievement is to, is bringing people together, like-minded people together. You know, I'm so glad I've given my life to this, and it's um, it's my everything, my university, as you know, my yeah, uh, my friends, my life to be with my own people, uh, uh, and that's that's how I've, I've and of course it is global now, 
It's a wonderful time uh, to be alive and to count one's blessings. I mean, a couple of hundred years ago, you'd have been lucky if you got to the age of 30. Yeah. You know, um, in terms of earth knowledge, there wouldn't be much available for the ordinary man. Uh, Most people had, like, rotten teeth. Uh, 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 they stank and had really bad breath (laughs) so um, uh, you could get an axe to your head and die of bubonic plague in a terrible way no um, there has been some improvements we have to count our blessings um, but we have to start thinking collectively and I think killing jokes is a good metaphor for this uh, 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 because um, uh, we split everything equally and, that, and that's another reason why but it's helped us overcome difference. There's one problem we don't have to think about. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, this 2022, 40 years since Revelations came out, Jazz. 40 years since Revelations came out. I mean, this year, 40 years since What's This Far came out. I mean, groundbreaking albums, but 40 years, you know? It's amazing to think. Well, I think... Uh... It was such a, mat- a, a, a time of massive importance for me. Um, without Iceland, I wouldn't have discovered classical music. No. And of course, I, I left for Iceland with an extremely beautiful woman. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, and I was doing lots of magical experiments and. Uh, and uh, it was absolutely insane, a wonderful time. Um, and uh, I'll be going back to Iceland. Yeah, you're going to go back? I, I warned them all uh, when I left that I'll be coming back when everything starts closing in. Yeah, well, it's a good time, I suppose, now, isn't it, really? It's, now's the time. Yeah, well, I mean... Uh, I think we're going to see a few more volcanoes go up, but that's um, that's to be expected. It, you know, it, you don't need to watch horror movies because the real thing's unfolding. Yeah, uh, and I, it, it's really like that. The world, you know. No, but I do believe um, that uh, we're going to get 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 through this period and. Uh, When I get back to Cythera, I, I want to start a whole um, replantation program that I hope catches on. The idea of mass replantation of native uh, trees is something that just won't go away. The, the, this idea of um, becoming closer to, not separate from nature. Yeah. But of course... Uh, mm, they're trying to take us the other way. Um, and we we know this. But this anyway, the, the the point being is there's there's so many things in our existence that could could happen, and the most important thing is to is to do the things that please you, you know, and yeah. I. I I never do things I don't like doing, and neither should you. <laughs> if you won't do them properly, <laughs> won't no. do them properly. You should only do things you really love doing. I yeah. feel this so strongly, uh, you know, uh, and that's what what I mean is that just be in the now and do what you love doing, and the rest of the world will fall into place. Yeah, that's that's what I know. Doing your will, you know, do your will, yeah. do your God gift, and do nothing but your God gift, and the rest of the world, everything will fall into place. You will be spiritually and biologically in harmony with the universe, and uh, 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 whatever happens, balance in the midst of change, and we're definitely going through change. Yeah, you know, you know uh, uh, in spite of all the, well. I, I've been living out of a case um, for so long, I can't even... I was trying to remember the last time I had a home. 
Um, but I do have a home now. Uh, and I've decided to... Um, well, I've got a few homes then, but I've decided to um, not move for... Uh, apart from my duties with recording, not move uh, uh, from Czech Republic um, for a while. Yeah, from Prague, yeah? That's right, Killing Joke Central. It is. <laughs> 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 One of the things that I, that I wanted to ask you about, Jazz... It's about obviously you record you, you you record a lot of stuff in Prague, you know. But one of the albums that people talk about a lot is Hosanna's, you know. And it, it's like a much maligned album, really, in a way. You know, some people love it, some people hate it. But I think it's a fantastic album. The songs on there, there's some absolutely brilliant songs on there. This Tribal Antidote, you know, what a fantastic song. It it's like. I don't. It's just an expression of pure joy to me. The words to this tribal antidote. You know, it is a fantastic album, and and obviously that was one of the one. You know, it was recorded in Prague, wasn't it? And what an album! You, you know, uh, things are so sort of dark in that period that um, uh, I have this reoccurring experience that happens in. In, in Prague and it, I find myself sitting at, in a cafe or a bar and say I'm listening to music and I go and it's music I've never heard before and I say who's this and they say it's you <laughs> <laughs> and I've never heard it before no I've never heard it before you know and like that happens when uh Sometimes you go to a dark period where, you, look, all Killing Joke recordings are, are traumatic and, and are a, a fucking nightmare. All of them, every one, every, every single one, uh, it seems to be this way for all of us. It's, it's the way the personalities <laughs> grate against each other. <laughs> they're all, they're all diff difficult, nightmarish. And uh, we're, I'm in the process of it again with everybody, and but it's amazing. To, it's, it's never what you, it's never what you imagine. So it's always something you could never think that you you do. And um, we've created that with this new yeah. EP that I'm so effing proud of. <laughs> you know, I am, and I'm so excited. I'm jumping up and down like before. It's like. It's a great Christmas present for me, uh, the, this recording. like this, And to get it out before the British tour. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. That's going to be amazing, That to hear that before the tour. Yeah. yeah. Killing Joke's on fire. It sounds on fire. I'm really... I love it. I love it. And it sounds like this time and no other time. It sounds uh, post post lockdown. Yeah, yeah. It, it feels like it more than more than ever, you know. Um, uh, so like it, it, it'll be really exciting to um, release this before the tour. Um, I'm touching wood now because you know how the, everything can change in. And, well, that's uh, the, that's the thing. That's the uh, world we yeah. live in, isn't it? We just have to hope for the best, don't we? And, and just hope that everything's going to fall into place and it all happens. It happen. will fall into place. Sooner or later, no, I, it will. Yeah. Whatever happens, even if it was worst case scenario, that's God forbid, uh, you know, I, I, who, can, who can say, but uh, I think it will go ahead. Uh, yeah. I do. I think it's going to happen. I, I think it's going to happen. I think... We're gonna we're gonna all be there next year. I think it's gonna happen. I don't know yeah, how, but yeah. it's gonna happen. You know. Yeah, and my and my I have a van that's got the, like my pies in. That's gonna follow all the game. <laughs> and we're gonna put the pies. tables and chairs up, and the chili sauce will be there. Pies and the hot sauce, yeah. And, and I'm gonna make a little shelter. What I want to do is kind of make a little shelter so I can <laughs> come out after a gig sometimes and. And eat, eat, eat pies and shove my blood sugar up and stuff like that with everybody. And like, uh, I like those moments. Yeah, uh, uh, 
it's time when we we just got to count our blessings and and celebrate and be in the now and stay in touch with with our people. Definitely, yeah. I mean, one of the I've got a couple of last questions here, Jazz. You can ask as many as you like. Yeah, no worries. I mean, what one of the guys off the Global Hum has given me a question here to ask you, yeah. and he basically what he said as as an internationalist, you have uh, plenty of experience of how different governments perform. Looking at the current UK government, do you see similar incompetence worldwide, or is it just Westminster? That's a very good question. I see. Um, I, I, uh, with, with politicians and global leaders, I see complicity. The complicit in this. In what's happening, you know, uh, nothing happens on the world stage by chance. Everything is planned. That's what I, I know to be true. Yeah. Uh, so no, it, it's just uh, to summarise my feelings on on, on all of this. Uh, uh, yeah, I think. Um, we would be naive to think that um, depopulation hasn't already started. We'd be very naive to think yeah. that it hasn't really started. It'd be hard to argue against this. It's, it's happening in front of us right now, isn't it? I mean, that's... Uh, and, and, the, and I'm afraid there's no getting around it. It's genocide, what's happening. And... And to summarise, because I don't want to get negative on this, but uh, what is necessary is um, a new Nuremberg trial. But, you know, uh, uh, I think this is going to happen eventually because what's happening is is, is wrong. Uh, I know that um, various Western governments have been testing testing things on their citizens since the 30s. I mean, it's nothing new. Uh, but we've got to the point now where um, where it is inhuman. Like I said, we're, we're probably 12 months. I hope, well, God forbid, and I hope I'm wrong. But uh, I think mass starvation is, 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 is ahead of us. You know, yeah. as soon as we go into this cashless society, um, well, you know, the people that won't have credit cards or chips, um, what, they're just going to starve to death. And, and, and uh, it's, it's just, uh, no, it's unacceptable. It's, uh, I will always speak out. Uh, uh, you know, this because it, I know it's happening. I mean, now I'm, I know that we look as I talk to you, uh, I, I'm self censoring as we speak, you know. Um, and uh, there are things I simply can't talk about now, but uh, and you know. My feelings since I've uh, like had a near-death experience have kind of changed a little bit. I I, I think uh, that people don't want to know and probably shouldn't know uh, what's, what's happening. I think people choose not to know, don't they? I think, you know, people just cannot see it. Does it make it any life uh, any better um, knowing? Um, or, or is ignorance bliss? It's a very good question. Well, yeah. Uh, perhaps ignorance is bliss. I mean, you know, you don't live this um, life of anxiety. If you're intelligent and you can see that injustices in our world and um, and that of course 
we are now um, uh, uh, we're all governed by corporations and as Mussolini said um, corporatism is fascism uh, and, 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 and we're there now you know um, uh, uh, but it need not um, stay like that when I, the reason why I went to Central and South America in the last few years is to contemplate some of these problems that other thinkers like Bolivar um, thought before, although it's a m more complex now. But um, uh, I think that we should uh, think about when we think of like, like the top thousand corporations, when you consider that so few people, it's the same players the same few players that own in excess of 50% of the world's resources, you know. Um, what we need is something called systematic disengagement yeah. of, of, of a thousand corporations simultaneously. We need to contemplate this idea. Uh, we need um, uh, To make clear that um, poisoning human beings and uh, using system, systems of enslavement, it, we have to fight to the death for this. The scare. No, so systems of enslavement are, are, are unacceptable. Look, I was brought up in the shadow of the last war. I was born 15 years after the last war. I was, uh, and, and, and six years after s s slavery was supposedly abolished. And that, does, that does not include debt slavery or economic slavery, of course. Uh, we barely crawled out of the, out of the slime uh, uh, as creatures. But um, certain things are ac acceptable and certain things are not acceptable. After the last war, after what happened in Germany, and, um, we have to. We are bound and short wired to speak out when we see these things happen, uh, and and silence gives consent, uh, and silence at a time like this uh, condemns us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I'm, it, I, I really feel this, you know. I really feel feel so strongly about this, you know. This, these these monster corporations the that, scary that have thing built is, the FEMA camps and uh, these uh, the massive corporations that the 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 doing the the tracking of people and this this leviathan that's been created from the the darkness of the human soul, um, it can disappear overnight. And the line between this darkness and the golden age is so, so thin. Yeah. And that golden age that I talk about, that, that is a, a, a thread that runs through everything in the kingdom. It's always been there. It's a dream that at the end of all of this, nature shall be regenerated, the resurrection of nature. Yeah. For a, of of a par an earthly paradise. Right. I think people will wake up. I, I really do. I, I have a belief that humans will are not stupid, and I think eventually they will see through what's going on. And, we, and I think we, there will be a, an awakening. I think people will realise that people like Bill Gates, the influence he has, you know, th they will see that. And I think, like you said earlier, they'll be, they'll be like the Nuremberg trials again because the whole government, you know, you look at them all and they're all on the payroll of people like Bill Gates, you know, and it's it's truly scary what they're, what they're able to get away with. Well, you know, most people aren't aware of the, um, the power structure of the world and I don't have the time now to... It, 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 elaborate on that only that in, 
in Killing Joke, we renounce all hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a, as a sort of last question, here's, here's another one that one of the guys asked, and then what he said was, and I think you've already told me the answer to this, actually. If you were arranging a Killing Joke Christmas party, which city would you choose and why? I know the answer. It's going to be Prague, isn't it? Uh, well, Prague, if you said, okay, there's, if there's just one place in the world you have to live all the time for the rest of your life, it, was, it has to be Prague. And it, it wouldn't be Cythera. It would be Prague. Yeah. yeah that's true. That's true. Uh, well, you know, there's so many. To answer that, Prague is 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 someone that I love deeply. But uh, actually, what I'm interested in doing is having meetings with the gathering. In like, we really wanted to go to the Azores and have this three days of fishing. Yeah. Followed by. Fishing chips with the cancer or something like that, you know, which is, sounds ridiculous. You don't even have to. I mean, there's vegans and stuff that can come. But I'd like to, to do some of to express our freedom in these uh, uh, gatherings in in, in 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 the wilds, actually, in places of natural beauty, and to set up these things as as a regular events. Youth, youth kind of does it with his space mountain event. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he, he struggles year, against the authorities and everything every year. We must support him for 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 this. Yeah, he opens. It. I mean, it's his, his as well as being a recording studio. It's his home as well, and he opens the doors and lets everybody in. Oh, so. it's wonderful, and uh, yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful what he does, and and uh, he brings so much to the touring youth. You know, like it, the the way. We've, the way we turn and the people, the old faces we meet, and uh, yeah, yeah, uh, and you know what? The back lounge of the tour bus, youth always gets like it's got it's it, it, it's got a turntable and there's antlers there, and there's <laughs> loads of like twelve inch mixes of, of, of records, and and it's like we and books everywhere and we re really move into the two of us you know and you really makes it his own <laughs> yeah, he, go, he really goes for it. it's wonderful i mean i'm so blessed uh, to be with these guys you know it's like a long time and so and uh, we have a mission and i'm 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 so buzzing about killing joke um I I can I can barely sleep, you know. At this time, it's so it's also thrilling, exciting. We've got to all somehow um, uh, get through what doctors call the kill months of January and February. Yeah. Uh, when you know, I'm sure they fucking wang the five G up as they pump us full of different kind of viruses and stuff uh, you know but there you are I mean uh, I've been saying this for years I, I, I'm like I said I'm at that point where we know all this <laughs> if you know what I mean and, uh, and the, the the new recording is is something it's just something it's going to be amazing to, to hear it. I mean, it's yeah. what, five, six years now nearly, is it, since Pylon? So you're overdue. Well, I, you're I think overdue. it really is that long because we, we, we went to the same studio and yeah. we were all trying to work it out. And uh, Amec, the engineer, he said, well, no, uh, I, I was in rehab five years ago <laughs> since the album. <laughs> <laughs> So he's 
been a, yeah a passage of time. We're ready for a new one, but um, I don't want to hurry a good thing, you know. No, you've got to let it come naturally, haven't you? And just let it happen. Yeah, you like you said, the longer you leave Geordie Walker, the, the the better it is. He always surprises me with what he t- comes up with next musically. Always, it's never what you can think. It's, but it, uh, uh, I think uh, this stuff will go will 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 go well live. Great, we'll see. It's going to be amazing. I mean, I just—it's going to be one hell of a celebration. I'm—I'm I'm just sort of speechless in sort of anticipating it, really, because it's going to be such a celebration for for everybody because of the shit that we've been through, you know, over the last sort of right. two years almost. It's going to be a huge celebration to see yeah, people. Words, it'll be beyond words. It's uh, going to be amazing. But that shared experience, you yeah. see, it's hard to imagine that because we've had it taken away from us you know um, all of us it, it anyway uh, uh, we'll make it yeah we're we'll going to be there and, uh, we're, we're all going to be there is, uh, it's like you know living with diabetes one it's a good, it's kind of good teacher it teaches you to eat properly yeah and at certain times and stuff like this and that so we have to exercise nourish ourselves Knows our inspiration, tell the people we love that we love them. And, uh, you know, we have to go against all the, um, uh, the current trends. Yeah. It, you know, and like, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I've got um, right here, I, I've got this, this case here that, that I brought all the way from Vietnam. And inside that case is so many <clears throat> brilliant coloured lights, not Christmas lights, but strings and strings of the most beautiful coloured lights, which I, I'd i like to hang outside my sort of uh, travelling restaurant, where, which serves yeah. the party somewhere <laughs> on too as well. But these coloured lights, um, uh, I'm going to put them in, I've got a Northern Hemisphere home and a Southern Hemisphere home. I'm going to string these lights up with my huts down under uh, on the island uh, and uh, in the mountains where I've got a new home uh, um, at the moment and uh, and I want everybody to put up brightly coloured lights not just for Christmas but to keep them up all year oh yeah yeah you know uh, I find that it, it makes me think um, of, of where, where we used to rehearse in Killing Joke we used to rehearse in South Wales at this this place, I think it's, we call it the Ponderosa Ranch. It was a ranch yeah. in the Welsh mountains. It had its own stone circle. And in, anyway, when you used to drive up to this place that we kind of wrote the second and the third record at this place, um, it always had these, these, these coloured lights on the front of the house and it made it look so inviting. It was such a long way up there that um, uh, I, I did we need to be in this state of permanent celebration all the time. So get coloured lights and put them everywhere, not for Christmas, for all time. For all the time. In front of your house to lift your spirit. I don't know what it is about the coloured lights. I remember, I remember what the, um, the Christmas tree lights used to be like. Uh, in, like in the early sixties, they were like pomegranate fruits and lanterns. Yeah. And they were made hand blown glass and tiny little glass ones. With yeah, so much that's detail. Right. yeah it'd take yeah it would take probably about a couple of hours to get them to work because you had to find out which bulb was actually not working that's right yeah or where the fuse anyway, was collect <laughs> all these lights and put them everywhere and make sure that the fridge is full uh, uh and uh i should probably I should probably do an alternative uh, speech to the Queen <laughs> yeah. on, on Christmas Day. And uh, and while I'm kind of um, having a good time and uh, uh, and the way I have a good time, maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, we should have some transparency. Maybe I should like film myself like, uh, um, on 
Christmas Day and uh, and we can all talk and, and I don't know because it's so boring, isn't it? Well, it I mean, is. Yeah, if you're not <laughs> if you're not a, a big Christian, it is. It, it's just a farce, really, in a way, because yeah. it's an old pagan festival, isn't it? That Christians took and made their own and. You know, it's There's good. The magic it's nice. has it. That's yeah. right. I, I, I agree with you. Um, uh, uh, but anyway, uh, you know, I hope everybody has a really great Christmas. And can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can't see you, yeah. but I can hear you, Jeff. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh, since, since I uh, I had that near-death experience, every day is kind of like a, a bonus and a and, and a blessing, uh, and, and um, oh, wow, I'm so excited about the new year. Yeah, uh, it's going to be amazing. I, I, I yeah, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, it, it really is going to be amazing. It's like, uh, I can't wait to be on tour. Uh, I, you know, I, I miss the tour bus so much. You see, on some I I really get like a good night's sleep, to be honest, is when the bus is rocking you to sleep after, I don't know, after I leave the bad boys lounge in the, in the <laughs> bus uh, uh, about 3 a.m. with a kind of smile on my face and, yeah, and you draw the curtains in your bunk and some people get claustrophobic, yeah, but me, I, I'm i like poor Raven. I've got to that point in my life where... Uh, I've done so many concerts. So I'm so used to being on tour that uh, I can't stop. You know, <laughs> I can't stop. I want more and more and more. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's the way I want it. Yeah, definitely. More the more killing joke gigs, the better jazz. To be honest. Well, I do as many <laughs> as we can do. Uh, as many as the guys will will agree to. I I, I personally would like to. Uh, 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 more 100 day tours fantastic <laughs> uh, yeah yeah I don't know how to get rid of that okay, but it's, wait, so Thank ask me right. one more one more question then here we are okay um, right I'll just have to think because uh, I think if they've written down here now I've, I've, I've asked you but um, what is what, yeah there's one complete off the top of my head what, of, of all the Killing Joke songs that, that, that you've done, Jazz, what is your own personal favourite? That's, that's off the top of my head. Uh, I, I suppose it's like having to name your, your, your favourite child, isn't it? <laughs> no, I can't say this one. Yeah, it, the, the, A new the, one. The, they're all kind of interrelated. Uh, I can't say this. Uh, I've got many favourites. And I, I would hate to like say that one means everything. Yeah. Uh, so I can't answer that question. <laughs> but I've got so many favourites, you, you know. Uh, um, uh, I, I mean, the, some some of me, Ken Jones music uh, aff affects me like deeply emotionally, you know, <laughs> like really deeply. I feel and. Uh, uh, like on on the fire does that for me? Yeah, it's a great song. I mean, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to uh, you know the uh, all of the gathering. It is just such an amazing you know, song. I, I, I tell you something. Uh, when I spoke to Jordan last, she said we've never played that one live. No, I was going to say you've well, never played it live. There's loads of songs we haven't played live, but um, there you go. I'm not going to say anymore. No, no, I can, I can understand that. But <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Dad, let me just. I'd love to hear that. I'd well, love to the, hear well, the fire, the, the, the two is called all of the fire. Yeah, it is. So you've got to play it, haven't you? You've got to play it. I didn't say anything. I don't have to. Anything. <laughs> but another one I'd love to hear. This is, this is just me personally. Tell the others. I'm, I'm going back I'll to, to Revelations Jazz. We have joy. I'd love to hear that. I'd love to oh, hear that again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, make sure that uh, you petition uh, Youth and Big Paul. But I don't think Jordy looks at anything on the internet. I don't know. I no. don't know. I'll mention it. I'll 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 I'll, I'll see if I can yeah. slip it into something uh, 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 and, and, and prime music up a bit. There, you know, 
petition the others, not me, yeah. I'm open. And as well, a bit of a what about this tribal antidote of Ozan, as we spoke about earlier on? That would be an absolutely superb. I don't song. even know. I don't even know what that sounds like. No. no it's the, I, is it the I, first track no, on Ozan's? No, no, I think. But tell me, I, 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 listen. Yeah, I've not, give it a well, listen again, Jazz. That you say that. I, 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 I don't even know that song. Uh, it's a masterpiece, uh, honestly. That album. I, it's just a, an un, un, underestimated album. It really is. Really is. I believe it's been re-released on vinyl again as well. So. Oh yeah, it it, it is a a special album. Fuck, you know uh, that's the Prague period. Yeah. And and and, and the album was the the last time all the band lived in the same city, which only happens every now and then. Yeah. Well, and. It's great when it does happen because you can just go, okay, Jay, should we rehearse tomorrow? And you can just like rehearse and this guy's like, uh, and of course, when we were younger, we took these things for granted, but we all live in different countries, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So did Paul, did, did Paul sort of just beam in while you were in Prague? Did he just sort of come in via, via yeah. the internet? Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we always put the uh, big port. We always put the drums down last. Yeah. Uh, the way we like to record. Yeah. Amazing. No, no, that's brilliant. But anyway, Jazz, I'd, I'd, I'd like to thank you so much. Anyway, for for doing this, it means I, a lot. I'd like to thank everybody out there, and uh, I really, really look forward to seeing everybody. Um, when, it's going to be. It's going to be yeah. amazing. It's, it's, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be. You know, like uh, it's so important for me to uh, walk up and down outside when people are queuing up and and, and say hello to people and like uh, and um, I love the conversations with all all the people that I I meet. I love to listen to. What they're going through, uh, and I'd like to make time for 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 this, um, and that's why I'm like we may laugh at the idea of the pie van and and the seats outside and this kind of thing, but that's when we're going to have some of our best times just talking after yeah after music so. and eating pies. <laughs> Eating pies. Eating pies. <laughs> With hot sauce. Hot sauce as well, yeah. Our <laughs> life is simple, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're easily pleased. Yeah, it's the simplest things. You know, I've so enjoyed this, and uh, I, 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 I love, uh, I love uh, the work everyone's doing. With uh, bringing our, well. You know, the music means so much to all of us. Like I say, I'm a gatherer, and I know the rest of the guys feel like that. We're all, we're all part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, <clears throat> have an excessive Christmas. And you, Jazz, have a fantastic time. And yeah. we'll look forward to seeing you in March. You know, me and Shirley. Yeah, well, I think we're going to be doing most of the you know, most of the dates. I think we'll be there at most of them. So we'll be travelling around. We've got someone to look after the dogs, and you know, that's it. We're going to be out again. So yeah, well, I I start uh, the whole training thing uh, for touring, and uh, and like uh, and uh, I, you know, I keep a sort of blog periodically. I've been getting my health back this year. Of, um, uh, uh, but uh, but I like doing it, and I like the interaction with everybody. So like um, prepping for a killing joke, um, uh, a, a killing joke tour, and the things that I do, uh, I want to share it with everybody. So well, if you want to stay in touch with me, yeah, you know, com. Fantastic, yeah. No, we will do definitely. I mean. It's going to be a landmark for mine because I think about two nights after the last gig of the tour is my 60th birthday, so we're going to stay in London. <laughs> where, where does the tour finish? In London, I think. London. Hammersmith Apollo, I think it is. Right. Well, you know, uh, uh, I, I know that 
But straight after the British trip, I'm doing one spoken word in Paris where I want to put some things on. Then I'm going to uh, do it as the second one in, in, in Switzerland uh, uh, where we had the funeral for Paul Raven. Yeah. Uh, Uzine, I think it's going to be. Yeah, which is like a, a kind of anarchist bar, if you oh, like, right. in, yeah, above where we normally play when we play in in Geneva. That was another Killing Joke Central. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course, um, Switzerland. So, uh, you know, for those people that can travel, uh, we'll be putting on some. I'll be putting on something to come and celebrate the British tour. And yeah, I'll touch absolutely. your wood again, because uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, these people don't want to spoil our fun. I think we'll rise above it, Jazz. To be honest, I we'll rise above it. I reckon it's going to go our way. So there you are. Yeah, I think we. I think it will definitely. Anyway, Jazz, yeah. thanks again. Fantastic. It's been, it's been great to speak to you. Great to see that's you again. Everybody. Yeah. Tracy. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll pass. Um, I was talking to Tracy the other day. Tracy from Australia. Yeah. So she's going to be, uh, she'll be great. She'll be really sort of looking forward to seeing this. And 2023 is going to be a really busy year for Killing Joe. Really? Yeah. Or what's on paper, very busy. Oh, that sounds excellent. So yeah, so we're, we're, we're talking world tour. European world tour, everything. She was so, asking Tracy if you're going to go back to Australia, you're ever going to go back to Australia again. So. Yeah, I mean... Uh, but it's going to be difficult, isn't it, at the moment? I mean, unless things change, but there we go. Oh, it's shocking in Australia. Sorry, I mean, I mean uh, my heart goes out to the people that, you know, I, I don't like any of it. No, horrible. Oh, Australia and New Zealand, uh, the, the lockdown measures are, are dr draconian. Yeah, ultra, ultra draconian. Yeah. And, the, uh, and of course, I've told you where it's heading for four decades, so we don't really need to talk about that. No, no, maybe, no we just need to can, rise above get, it all and enjoy yes, ourselves. Yes, that's right. That's it. That's right. It has so much meaning, you see, our work. It has so much meaning this time. Uh, like it, you know, uh, in a way, what I learned, from the near-death experiences, there's nothing to worry about. No. Uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, and, but with a bit of that, I'll reach my mark and I really feel I'm on that mission and that we're going to do something really good. Fantastic. No, it's a, it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. I cannot wait. And, I cannot and I'd wait. like to say, don't forget, don't forget it's fucking Geordie's birthday on the 18th, you motherfuckers. <laughs> like, they, they, there's no guitarist in the world like this guy. No. You sent like, three guitarists and, and it's important. You, you all tell him how much you love him. Yeah, we will do. I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure there'll be plenty of stuff about on, on the internet, you know, on, on Facebook and everything else, you know, I'm sure. There will be. I don't know. I don't just Jordy look on that sort of thing. Or no. I've no idea. No, no. <laughs> I, I, you know, I think he, he deals with the internet more than me. But yeah, I, I think it's more than likely things like um, antique watches and 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 fishing rods and things. Yeah, I think, yeah, fishing. It'll be fishing, won't it? Definitely. <laughs> Right, right, anyway, Jazz, thanks a lot. Right, Have a great Christmas you. and we'll see you in March, yeah? You will. Thanks, Jazz. Have a good time. Appreciate it. Cheers, uh, Jazz. Thank you. See you. Cheers. Bye. bye then. Bye. <laughs>